what is going on guys welcome back to the channel so today is going to be a little difference of a video um actually i decided to make this video because one it's insurance for me um to know everything that the moving truck is going to take that way if anything's missing i can relook at this video and make sure everything's there um so you guys can just come along with me while i go through all of our items here that's going on the moving truck so right here we obviously have the two toolboxes they're going our weight bench weight rack boxing bag um where's the boxing bag itself that's all the way in the corner our chairs um super purple chairs i love those chairs they're comfortable as heck uh we got um our chemical cabinet in the corner jack stands jacks uh um engine stand oil stand uh crane we got lamps going we got the mirror going we got the fireplace going over there in the corner we got uh, more couches in the back we got a bunch of boxes here that are going look at all those boxes all those crates going um our press is going over there and a whole bunch of other stuff going on back there so um this is just a great record of me keeping so i know what to expect oh my lounge is going um all of these stuff these furnitures and stuff they're just gonna stay here we're not even gonna bother with that right now moving is so hectic um last night i didn't even get any sleep i went to bed at like 5 a.m uh and it was it was bad because i had to edit my videos i'm trying to keep up to date with these videos and moving is crazy i'm trying to make um some videos to fill in the time for when i drive to florida because i'm gonna be driving i think tomorrow so um i'm just trying to fill in those times so while i'm driving i don't have to worry until i get back to florida then i can start making some videos in the meantime obviously i'm gonna be busy unpacking and i'm gonna try to get something in for you guys as well but uh yeah let's see what we can talk about how about this i got a good idea let's talk about the memories that we created in this garage and the builds that we've done so first things first obviously king customs grew well king customs happened in florida Corolla Customs started here and um, you know that was the side where all the lift was all the toolboxes was that's where everything was I created the shirt here for the Chevy Avalanche when we did the Chevy engine build here um, you guys enjoyed that if you haven't seen it I'll leave the card up here for you guys to click on the engine video to watch it and enjoy it uh, we also did the Toyota Corolla build right here in that spot which was pretty cool um, it's kind of weird seeing how empty everything looks uh, well, right now it's not empty, but to see all the stuff from in the house in the garage, it kind of just looks so strange. Because um, now the house is empty, the garage is filled up, and it's not filled up with the ordinary things that I usually have in it, so it's completely different. But uh, we had some good memories here. We had the two engine bills, which was pretty cool. The Avalanche, ever since buying the Avalanche, it actually all started in the driveway right over here. So this driveway here, this whole patio is where the avalanche actually took place. Um, that's where I first started with my videos when I purchased the avalanche the very first time um, from the kid. He's a cool guy. Um, purchased that, I ended up pulling out the entire thing, cleaning it up, found the rust spots. If you haven't seen the rust videos, I'll leave it up here for you guys to check as well. Awesome little series. That's when my videos started to take better quality. That's when my videos started to get into better quality. Um, we also did the uh, brake lines for the Avalanche here when the garage was being built. And this was off camera. I didn't even show on camera, but uh, I didn't even bleed the brakes to a proper way. And when I put it in reverse, it crashed right into the garage. So that had to get fixed. But luckily, it was still in the frame um, area so the guy could just uh, put the nail back in place and it was fine um that was something else that happened uh what else happened with the avalanche we got the cluster fixed in the house uh we did the undercoating in the house i also had done the um undercoating of the frame in the house we done the differential service the axle bearings 
the um, engine rebuild, we've done the transmission oil and filter drain, we've done all the differential transfer case services here. So much stuff has taken place to the Avalanche and the Avalanche has actually caused this channel to grow the way it is now and built an awesome tight knit community like you guys, which I am forever grateful for. And uh, these are the old Corolla Custom tees. As you can see, they say Corolla Customs. And yes, I still rep them because I gotta wear them and I like them. Um, that train, I'm not gonna miss that train at all because it's coming right now as we speak. <laughs> Uh, what else we had? We had the Ford E350 van in here, which was pretty sick as well. Um, I just bought that and flipped it. Bought it for a hundred bucks. Train, train. Let's take a look at this train. There's no way I'm missing this ever. I've been in Florida for two years. I don't miss that at all. That's my backyard right there. Yep. And the garage is right here. So what were we at to? The uh, E350 Ford build. Got that for a hundred bucks. Is that an egg? Yeah, it's a little bird egg. All right, so I got that for um, 100 bucks. Uh, fixed it up, put a fuel pump in, got it started. Sold it for 3,300, which was a pretty good deal. Um, or 35, I think it was 35. We got the Ford Mustang that was here. That was when the garage was being built. If you guys remember that one, the Mustang, that was an awesome, awesome, awesome little car that I got. I love that thing. Uh, sold that for 65. Um, Peter's Evo was here. That was a really cool car to play with. Um, uh, one thing that I actually did appreciate in here, I actually met Peter. We became good friends. He's an awesome guy. So if any of you guys are in the area of this um, town, definitely go check out Peter in Bergenfield. He's an awesome, awesome guy. Check him out for any kind of repair that you need. Um, another thing that we also did here was I, gave, I did a give back video where I met one of, uh, one of the viewers. He was awesome. He was cool. Um, we did a service on his Chevy Avalanche, which made me feel good about myself. And I'm sure it made him feel good. And both of us meeting each other and exchanging experiences, it was really cool and awesome. Uh, funny thing is he actually knew one of my friends that I went to school with, which was pretty cool as well. Um, they have their own little friendship going on as well. So I think that's awesome. Uh, such a small world. But there's so many different memories in this uh, garage that it's going to stick with me for a lifetime. The amount of things that I've learned, I've learned that I hate Nissan Murano's. I don't think I'm going to touch one of those again. But knowing me, I actually will probably want to try one again to see if I can get it running right. Um, it took me a long time, but I want to see if I can get it running right the first time. Um, so that's probably going to be a challenge. I'll probably buy a junk one and see if I can do it. Uh, but... A lot of lot of memories and um, guys if you guys want to throw anything in the comment section below from watching my videos any memories that I've missed or forgotten definitely leave it in the comment section and I will appreciate it one because you guys remember some stuff about me and that's awesome it's a cool little legacy to leave behind for people to remember things about you and um, two it means that you guys pay attention so pay attention other than that guys uh, I'm going to cut this video short because i got to get back to um, cleaning and, and moving everything into here. Also, the camera's dying, and I'll see you all when I'm in Florida. Peace. Mm -hmm.